Let's learn how to add, subtract, multiply or divide two numbers using instructions present in 8086 assembly language programming. So we have two numbers over here. One is 4 and another one is 2. So before performing any of those operations, I'll just quickly move those numbers to our general purpose registers so that we can perform those operations. Now to add, we simply write as add AL, BL. Now what happens is AL is added with BL like the contents of AL is added with the content of BL and it's placed back in AL. Similarly, we can write subtract AL, BL. This performs AL minus BL and stores the result in AL. Now for multiply and divide, we use a bit different approach. Multiply and divide are single operand instructions and we can only specify registers to be operated with them like we cannot have a number there for example we could we could have a direct number specified here as this but in multiply it's not possible so i'll take another register and i'll move b in it and then i'll simply write mul cl now what happens is whatever contents are present in al they gets multiplied by cl and the result is placed back in al so that's how it works for div cl, whatever contents are present in al, they are divided by cl and the quotient is placed back in al. So you could go back and listen to it once again if you are having trouble understanding that. Now we will go and see the output but before that I will just do one more thing that's clearing all the registers to zero so that we can get a clear cut picture of the output. So now we can go and check whether we get the required output or not. So we'll just assemble it. No errors. We'll link it. And let's debug it. Now I'll use minus T option and one by one we'll trace the code line by line to understand what's actually happening. So this is the initialization of BS register. As you can see, the next instruction is move ax, 0, 0, 0, 0. That means I'm clearing ax to 0. So you can see ax has been cleared to 0. So each time when I press T, you could refer to the previous instruction and then you can see the changes happening in the register. So I'll go a bit quick now. Bx is 0, cx is 0. Al should contain my first operand, that's 4. Bl should contain my second operand, that's 2. And Cl should contain my second operand, that's 2. Now, when I do add AL, BL, the content of AL, that is 0, 4, gets added with that of 0, 2. So we get a 6 over here, as expected. Now, when we perform subtract AL, BL, this 0, 6 minus 0, 2 happens and the result is placed back here. So we get 0, 4 over here. So let's see. Boom, you can see the output. Now, when we multiply CL, what happens? This gets multiplied with this value and the result is stored here itself. So we'll get a 0, 8 over there. Good enough. And finally, when we do divide operation, this gets divided. Sorry, this gets divided by this and we get when we get 4 over here. So as you can see, we got all the correct outputs and our program gets terminated. Calling the interrupt. So that's all about using these basic instructions. Link for this code is in the description below. You could go and check it out and thanks for watching.